Welcome to Language, the Comprehensive Literacy Curriculum. This medallion represents the six major components of literacy that are woven through every lesson, every day. This medallion illustrates language's comprehensive, cumulative, and sequential approach to literacy instruction. Each of these components becomes a step of instruction in each lesson. Phonemic awareness and phonics, word recognition and spelling, vocabulary and morphology, grammar and usage, listening and reading comprehension, speaking and writing. This structure of the curriculum means that students work through each major area of literacy from sound to text in every lesson. Let's take a look at each of the six steps from sound to text in more detail. Say mass. mass. Say mass. mass. What's the last sound in mass? Beautiful. Step one in language focuses on phonemic awareness, that is, the identification of sounds in words, and on the association of speech sounds with the letter or letters that represent them. Say jazz. jazz. Say jazz. jazz. What's the As students progress through the curriculum, they learn that combinations of letters form different types of syllables, which help students read and spell longer words. This step also develops awareness of morphemes, which are meaning units. Recognition of morphemes, such as S for plurals or ED for past tense, plays a significant role in comprehension. T, A, K. Your turn. T, A, K. Again. This progression in language builds phonemic, syllabic, and morphemic awareness in words that comprise academic and content area vocabulary. What you are going to do is you are going to complete that part of the activity with your partner. As students move into step two, they have the building blocks for words, letters, syllables, and meaning parts. With these building blocks, they can build words like bat from letters, reformer from Latin meaning parts, or psychology from Greek combining forms. Each of these words is based on the same skill, building words. It is the type of building block and complexity of the content that changes. On page 307, we are going to be working with the essential words and fluency builder. Um, A major focus in this step is reading words fluently. Regardless of the simplicity or complexity of the words, the goal is for students to read and spell them fluently. What is livid? What does livid mean? Steps one and two focus on getting from speech to print, or spelling, and from print to speech, or reading. Step three adds meaning to the words students can read and spell. In this step, students learn levels of meaning of words. Initially, language focuses on helping students learn multiple meanings and a structure for defining words. As students move across the curriculum, the degree to which students learn the meaning of words deepens. It would be to open it, right? Many dimensions of word knowledge, including attributes, origins, functions, and connotations, are incorporated into vocabulary learning in the lessons. what is happening in the sentence. Part of understanding words has to do with how the words are used in sentences. Building upon the concept of multiple meanings in step three, the same word can function in multiple ways. For example, even the simple word bat has layers of meaning depending on its function in sentences. Consider these sentences. The bat flew. The man caught a bat. He hit the ball with a bat. Note that bat is the subject of the first sentence, a direct object in the second sentence, and the object of a preposition in the last sentence. Same word, multiple functions. In step four, students also learn the impact of the arrangement of words on meaning. Consider these three words, man, bites, and dog. We can arrange these words to form a sentence. 
man bites dog. No doubt this would make headlines. By merely rearranging the words, dog bites man, the meaning is completely changed. What made the difference in meaning? The arrangement or order of the words. In language, students also learn how to expand simple sentences. And through the expansion, see how meaning can be changed or clarified. Take our sentence, man bites dog. By adding words or phrases, which man, hungry, what kind of dog, the juicy, and which one, on a bun, the headline-worthy sentence turns into a common occurrence at a picnic. Through sentence expansion and sentence combining, language shows students the power of precise word choice and careful word arrangement. Open up to page 211 in your interactive text. Steps 5 and 6 in language focus on the application of concepts, content, and skills from the previous steps. These last two steps work reciprocally to develop comprehension when reading and clear communication when writing. Okay, question number one says, what do pictures of jazz show? One way that language develops this relationship is through answering questions. Students learn to interpret and develop answers to questions of increasing difficulty. The difficulty level is established by the type of question as determined by the levels of Bloom's taxonomy. Students learn to identify what the question is asking and then use content from the reading selections to develop complete answers. Where would we look in what we've read to find the answers to what Jazz shows? Another way that language develops comprehension and writing skills is through activities designed to help students read, select information, record the information, and use the information to write paragraphs or reports. The goal is for students to see the relationship between what they are reading and getting organized to write. The power of language lies in these steps from sound to text. Each step contributes to the literacy foundation students need to become successful readers and writers.